International Olympic Committee has the honor of announcing that the Games of the 30th Olympiad in 2012 are awarded to the city of London. David Barry from Jewish Online Magazine. Um, our special guest today um, is Ephraim Goldstein and he is an Olympic torchbearer. Uh, welcome to Jewish Online Magazine, Ephraim. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Um, are you looking forward to being an Olympic torchbearer? Definitely. It's an honour and a privilege to carry the torch. It's a one in a lifetime opportunity. London has been preparing for the Games, the Jewish community has been preparing for the Games the Jewish and the Israeli tourists who will be coming. I am extremely happy to be part of it. Will it be an opportunity to perform a Kiddush Hashem? Sure, this is a Kiddush Hashem to show the world a Jewish person in London had the responsibility and obey the laws in the country. The same way we respect, obey the law, Mekayim Halochus Malchis Dinner, mm -hmm. to show the world that as a Jew in London we acknowledge and culture that the Jewish community in London are part of the fabric society of London. We have our unique Jewish history yet we are part of the London and we are proud to be part of the London Olympics 2012. Why do you think you were nominated as a uh, Olympic torch bearer? Because as I am Jewish and as I am an active pioneer volunteer for the Jewish community and the general public and for sure to show the Jewish community is part of the Olympics 2012 here in London. Were you surprised when your nomination was accepted? I was very, very excited and I look forward to the occasion of being part of history of the city. When and where will you be carrying the Olympic torch? With Hashem's help, I will be carrying the torch on the 23rd of July in Lewisham, South London. Why aren't you carrying the Olympic torch in Hackney where you live? In Hackney the torch rally will be on Shabbos and I will not be able to do so. Out of that, the nearest place for me to be carrying a torch will be in Lewisham. Do you think being a Jewish Olympic torch bearer is good for the Jewish community? Okay. Definitely. We are in Gullis and as we discussed earlier, it is important to demonstrate that we live in a Malchis Shulchesed. So yes, it's definitely a positive thing to do and take part in this a once in a lifetime opportunity. What will be going through your mind when you're carrying the Olympic torch in Lewisham? I'll let you know after how it went. <laughs> <laughs> um, is everybody in your community excited for you? It's not just me preparing, but it's many in the community who are excited and support me. So it's a big yes from me and even a big yes from everyone else. Fantastic. And are you aware that some members of the Jewish community do not want um, Olympic Jewish torchbearers to be involved due to the international Olympic community not wanting to hold a one minute silence for the Israeli athletes that were murdered um, by terrorists in the Munich 72 games? Um, it's very sad and disappointing that the London 2012 committee is not doing the one minute silence for the Israeli Olympic team that were murdered by the terrorists in Munich Olympics 1972. Mm. It's a shame they did not, but I did hear there will be some form of memorial services remembering for the Israelis who were murdered. Mm. What's your favourite Olympic sport? That's a tricky question. Is it? Yeah. Because as you see, I'm very sporting. <laughs> I like all sports, especially swimming and athletics. Hmm. As an Orthodox Jew, will you be doing anything extra compared to the Olympic torchbearers? Funny enough, that is the interesting question. Hmm. But yes, I'll be proud to go with a special design, London Olympic 2012 Yamaka wow. and Tsitsis. We very much look forward to seeing you um, in Norrisham, South London on the 23rd of July, Ephraim. And uh, thank you ever so much for uh, joining uh, Jewish Online Magazine. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. It was a pleasure meeting you.